In the beginning, we saw the image of a rocket, a rocket sporting the colors of the Lebanese flag. It's hard to believe. Yet at the very beginning of the 60s, a small group of students from Haigazian University, headed by Professor Manouk Banougian, launched the first rocket of the Arab world. This is the very beginning. I looked at my students and said, OK, we're going to start from scratch. At that point, we said, OK, now we can look at larger rockets. The world in those years is a world of possibilities. The students of Haigazian, army mechanics, engineers, it becomes a collective effort. Here's this tiny country of Lebanon in this huge part of the Middle East that was inducting such experiments that no other country at the time was able to do it. So it became part of the history of Lebanon. And at that point, we decided to call it the Lebanese Rocket Society. This space project turned into a national patriotic project, the boys and their rockets. It was a good story. It's the era of the great Arab dream. It incites internal conflicts in Lebanon and almost a civil war in 1958. The space research could bring together a population that has always had difficulty existing as a nation. The rockets become a symbol. Others in the region became interested in rockets. The biggest issue was, like everywhere else in the world at the time, the nuclear arms race. People were saying, what is Lebanon trying to do? There was some suspicion. The Middle East of the time is a hub of espionage activity. People were interested in the rocket who we would have hoped would not be interested in the rocket. Manu assured me that this was being done for scientific study and had no intention of promoting violence. Things change. The army then totally takes over the project. Our project was not a military weapon. Our project was for scientific exploration. And then, oddly enough, oblivion. The history of the Lebanese Rocket Society seems today virtually impossible. It's like a history kept secret, buried in the collective imagination, a repressed thing. What is to be kept from the past? How to build memory? Well then, a rather crazy idea, offering a scale replica of the Cedar IV rocket to the university where it all began. Provoking, outwitting reality, defying it. Create a rocket that looks like a missile and say, this is not a weapon, this is the fruit of what we once were, of what we can still be today. Researchers, utopians, dreamers. I wonder if I'm alive. In accordance with our instructions, we continue Just toward the planet which its inhabitants call the Earth in order to study their mode of life. The intelligent creatures on this planet call themselves human beings and they exist in an amazing variety of conditions. 